I've worked for 20 years helping people live in harmony with their dogs. And the most essential ingredient is confidence, both for the person and for the dog. But what does that look like? And how do you achieve it? Well, I'm gonna share with you now my three top training secrets. Number one, build a bond with your dog. This has nothing to do with training, actual physically training, teaching your dog whatsoever. This is just being with your dog. But it's the most important component in creating that harmony. How do you build a bond? What does bond mean? Well, a bond is that relationship. That relationship that you build up between you that is built through trust. There are a number of ways to build a bond, but I think my favorite way is to really do less. And what I mean by do less is that don't worry about training. Don't worry about teaching your dog to do something. Just be with your dog. Find out what your dog really loves. Is it digging? Chasing a bird? Going swimming? Going for a walk? Sniffing the ground? Find out what your dog really loves to do and let your dog do it. And if you do that with your dog, you do that activity with your dog, you create that bond. Number two, teach your dog, but make sure that you make learning fun. So much of the traditional style of dog training relied, and for those who still practice it today, relies on getting your dog to do something or else. Training with fear, pain, and intimidation. We don't do that. Trainers that are positive and humane like myself, we don't do that. We can train any kind of dog, any kind of breed, any age, any drive, any job, with positive humane methods. So what do I mean by positive? I mean that you motivate your dog to learn things and you make the learning fun. So you use whatever your dog loves. And these are called extrinsic motivators. So remember the intrinsic motivator is something that your dog just loves to do inside. It doesn't have to earn it. But with training now, with an extrinsic motivator, you can use a toy and the dog gets the toy when he sits. Or you can use food. The dog gets the food when he lies down. Or you can use a mixture of both or praise that the dog gets when she runs back to you. You can use a life reward, as in if you're calm by the back door, the back door will open and you can go outside. So you make learning fun and you bring all the components of great motivators, play, and that feeling, that sense of achievement that dogs so thrive on. And even if your dog fails, even if your dog doesn't learn that fast, even if your dog doesn't learn what you are teaching your dog at that time, it doesn't matter. Because maybe you come back the next day and you do it another way so that your dog learns. If you make learning fun and you make yourself the source of great things, your dog is not only gonna trust you, your dog is gonna to listen to you and respond to you. So when you ask your dog to do something, she's gonna do it. And it's not a relationship based on domination. It's a relationship based on cooperation. And those are the very best relationships to have. Number three, build your dog's confidence. There are many things that our dogs have to cope with in our domestic worlds, in our domestic environments. If you think about it's very strange that we share our homes with another potentially dangerous predator. We are the most dangerous predators on the planet, but dogs are hunters as well. And yet somehow this relationship has evolved over thousands of years where it works. It takes a lot for dogs to navigate your home environment to understand you, to fit in well with the family. And because our society, we want quick fixes right away. If a dog has a behavior issue, we want someone to come in and fix it. 
And if you get a bad trainer in who's gonna put a shock collar on or a prong collar or something that's going to suppress your dog's behavior and make your dog behave, that's gonna damage your dog's trust of you and your dog's happiness. But if you get someone in to help you that works with you, creates that bond, teaches the dog in a fun way, teaches you to do that, that will create confidence. But there are many, many other ways to give your dog the confidence. Help your dog become happy and well-adjusted. If you've enjoyed listening to my three top secrets on how to have a happy, well-adjusted dog, then go ahead and register for my free course, Building Your Dog's Confidence. I can promise you, it's gonna help you and your dog live even more harmonious lives together.